I'm going to turn this boring NeoView editor into this. A full featured code editor with everything you can accept. And taking it to the next level, we'll also set up AI to explain the code, generate code for us and much more. So we'll be using NVChat for this setup, which is a NeoVim distribution and makes it a lot easier to set up NeoVim. So first, let's quickly install NeoVim. Install it as per your operating system. I am using Linux, so we'll copy the link. Get back to terminal and get the file. Then just extract it and move it to opt folder and set its path in .bash rc file. Next, we need to install nerd fonts. Download it from the site and install it as per the machine you are using. I am using WSL and I already installed nerd fonts on the system. So we'll apply it to WSL config. And now we have to install few dependencies to get NVChat working. So install it as per your operating system. Once that's done, get back to NVChat site, copy this command, back to terminal, paste it and hit enter. This will set up a starter config for us. And once it's finished, close this window using Q and execute colon mason install all. So go to .config and vim directory and open neovim. Hit ctrl n to open the file tree and you can also change the theme. Just hit space th and select the theme you want. Now if you noticed we have this cross icon here. That's for the git repo but we don't need it here. So just remove this .git directory by pressing D on top of it, Y to continue. For setting up the LSP server, we'll be using LSP config plugin. To install that, go to plugins, init.lua and here nvchad already has the code for same. Just uncomment that and save the file. Then go to configs, LSP config and here add the language server for the languages you need. For mine, I added for JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, C++ and Slint for linting. If you don't know where to get the LSP server's name, you can check out this GitHub page. And this code right here is same as this one. Here we have a loop which goes through the servers listed here. This extra can be helpful when we have to define our own custom configs like file types or anything else. But for this setup, default works fine. So we'll comment that out and save the file. Now we also have to install this LSP servers. You can do that manually with mason install or the better way is to go to the plugins init.lua and uncomment these lines. This will set up Mason plugin. And here, just add the servers you want to install. Then save the file and quit NeoVim. Open it again and execute colon Mason install all. This will install all the servers listed there. To check that it's working, I have a JavaScript file here where I have defined an array. And here we have the list of all the methods we can use. For setting up the tree seater, you can just execute colon ts installed and the language for which you want to install it. But a better way is to define them in a file. So wherever you move your setup, you can just clone this config and install it. So again go to plugins, init.lua. And here we already have code for it. Uncomment that and add the languages you want it for. 
then just save the file and quit NeoView. And if we open it again, it will install the tree sitter for the languages listed there. With that said, let's move to the next part. To format the code on save, Envichat already has plugin set up for us using conform.envim. We just need to uncomment this line and save the file. Then go to configs, conform.lua and here uncomment these lines. And also add the languages and the formatters for same. Add I use prettier D instead of prettier as it provides better performance. And you can check the formatter for specific language on conform.nvim github. Getting back to terminal, we also need to install these formatters. So we'll head over to plugins in it.lua. And here under Mason, add those formatters. Then just save the file and reopen NeoView. Then execute colon mason install all. Now to test this out, I have this file which is not at all in proper format. But as soon as I save the file, it formats the code. So to add AI straight into NeoVim, we'll be using this plugin. Shout out to the developer David, he also made video on this, I will link it in description. So to set this in NeoVim, go to plugins init.lua and here add a new entry add the plugin repo make this to start on startup add a config function and set it to use configs.gen file which we are going to create now then go to configs hit a to create a new file and name it gen.lua here create an empty op table and call the setup function with same. Under ops add the model you want to use and yeah this uses Olama. If you don't have that installed you can watch my previous video. It has more options you can check that on their github. Now just save the file and reopen NeoVim. It will install the plugin. And now it's ready to use. We can ask it to explain the code. Generate code for us and much more. 